So the secondary entrapment site peck miter, here's another little technique that I know you will love. Um, I've been using this technique for probably in about 10 years. What's really great about this technique is that you can actually feel the peck miner starting to release as you work into it, but it takes a little bit of practice. So for a start, you're gonna be using your forearm, okay? So you're not using your elbow. If you're using your elbow, then you're coming in, it'll be too sharp it'll obviously be way too painful, so you won't get any relaxation from your client. So it needs to be a broad forearm into that pec minor area there, okay? You sink into the first point of resistance when they feel it, and then you can rock backwards and forwards over the pec minor and pick up basically right on top of that sort of muscular tenderness junction. The trigger point will be just a little bit inferior from that. Now, that's part one. Part two of this is then coming up, picking up the arm, and then you're going to externally rotate, okay? So you're gonna move it in and out of external rotation. Now, what you're doing there is you're working the fibers inferiorly, okay? So what you'll start to feel is a softening as they get used to this. Now, just remember the art to this is your pressure. If you press too hard, they're going to fight you, okay? So you need to be able to gauge a really comfortable pressure. If you don't, then you're not gonna get the release and you're not going to get the outcome that you want. If your client starts to feel numbness going down the arm, then you're probably pressing too far up or superior onto where the brachial plexus is. So you need to come a little bit more inferior. So you're just moving backwards and forwards out of that external rotation like so. Now, if they're super, super sensitive, you can, just every now and then, I don't mind doing, is a little bit of dry needling as well. But once again, you need to look at all the precautions when you're working into the anterior chest area here, because obviously you have, let's face it, the thoracic, then you've obviously be piercing into the lung itself. So unless you know your anatomy really well, I suggest you just stay with the hands-on techniques.